Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Serial and License Key Manager plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the web store owners would be able to set up uh, the license key for their WooCommerce products, how they can assign the license keys to each of the products that are there within their uh, WooCommerce store. And uh, apart from that, we'll also be showing you the custom flow, how the customers would be make uh, will be able to make use of the serial keys for the products that require one. So basically this product would allow uh, the WooCommerce store to have a variety of products within his web store because uh, uh, the serial keys can be assigned uh, to the simple virtual and downloadable products as well. So uh, let's hop to the uh, admin backend panel for the WooCommerce uh, serial and license key manager plugin and let's see how we can assign the serial license key in the first place to the products uh, that are there within the WooCommerce store. So uh, right now I've logged into my admin backend panel for my WooCommerce web store and after you successfully install this particular plugin that's the WooCommerce serial and license key manager plugin. On the left hand side panel you have the serial key and pins uh, menu option. Now under that we have serial keys and the settings. So I'll just go, uh, take you through each of them one by one. So let's go to the settings first and then we'll come back to the serial keys. So uh, under the settings, let's go to the settings page. So under the settings page, you can see that we are here for the serial key configuration. So from here, you can set up the length of each of the uh, serial keys that you're going to create. So you can select the same length as 8, 10, 12 or 16. And then you can set up the uh, product page message for the same. So uh, for example, here you can see that uh, the product uh, would be displaying that this product has a serial key uh, that is to be used for making use of this particular product uh, for a uh, particular period of time. And after the serial key expires, then the customer would again have to uh, get this uh, serial key. So this allows you to set up a, a product uh, that needs to be again purchased or subscribed to by getting the serial keys. So. Uh, uh, now, uh, after you set up the link and the product page message uh, that is displayed on each of the product pages for the uh, products that require a serial or a license key, you just need to tap here on the save changes button. So that was the basic uh, uh, serial keys configuration settings. Now let's go, go to the serial keys uh, section. So basically after you assign the serial keys to the products within your WooCommerce store, all of those products would be displayed here like you can see. And here you can see the SKU, the serial keys the expiry and the status for each of the products there and the expiry is for the serial keys for the respective product to which you have assigned the same apart from that uh, the admin can uh, de uh, delete activate or deactivate any of the keys uh, for the respective product so you can do it for a single product or you can do that in bulk by selecting all of the uh, products that require a serial key and then from the actions drop down you can delete activate or deactivate by tapping the apply button thereafter. Now let's see how we can assign a serial key. So for that, uh, what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the add new button. And that would bring up the sec uh, section. So uh, I'll just tap uh, once again on that. And uh, this brings up two different uh, tabs here. One is the general and the serial keys uh, tab. So under the general, the admin just needs to uh, enter the uh, name of the product for which the admin wants to uh, generate the serial keys. And uh, for example, if I choose it as uh, ship, ship, and uh, I, I'll just choose my product that's there within my uh, web store, then I'll be uh, choosing the expiry for this particular product serial key. For example, if I choose it as 31st, and then I can enable or disable this particular serial key for this particular product that I've just uh, selected at the section, that's the product section at top. And thereafter, we just need to tap here on the save button to save the serial key and generate the same for the uh, product itself. So if I tap here on the save button, you can see that the details have been uh, saved for the product. Now, after uh, we have saved it, right now, if I go to the serial keys uh, tab, there are no serial keys. Now, let me go back to the serial key uh, option under the serial key and pins on the left hand side, as you can see. And here at the very top, you can see that we have the ship your idea product and we have around 50 serial keys that have been generated for this particular plugin itself. And the expiry is July 31st, uh, 2020. And the status for this particular serial key for this particular product is right now active. So that's how you can add the uh, serial 
keys very easily to any of the products within your WooCommerce web store, be it a simple, uh, be it uh, a product having uh, attributes or uh, uh, what we say as a downloadable product. So now uh, to give the, uh, uh, what we say as the uh, details uh, for the serial keys for any of the products that we have created, uh, we'll just tap here on the uh, edit link for that particular uh, product. And now let's go to the serial keys section after we have tapped here on the edit link. So here you can see the product name is Shipio Idea and the expiry date along with the status of this particular product serial keys. And now if I tap here on the serial keys uh, tab, will be able to see the complete list of uh, different uh, serial keys that have been generated for this particular product and the total number of uh, the keys that have been generated is uh, around 50 items right now as you can see apart from that you can see the statuses uh, for each of the uh, serial keys is uh, free 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 as required there so that was how you can uh, add uh, your add the serial keys or the license keys to your products uh, uh, that are there within your WooCommerce web store and I just also showed you how we can set up uh, the uh, configuration or the initial configuration settings for the uh, serial key generation where we can choose the length of the serial keys uh, from the drop down as per our own requirement there and we can set up the product page message so this particular message that we will have entered here would be visible through the customers at the web store front end uh, for the WooCommerce web store so that was about the back end and how we can add the serial keys. Now uh, let's go to the web store front end and let's see how uh, the customer uh, can make use uh, of uh, the serial keys there or uh, how a customer would be able to place the order and with the particular uh, serial keys uh, for his uh, product. So for that, let's go to the web store front end for the WooCommerce. So I'll just log it out from this section. Now I'm at the uh, WooCommerce web store front end on the uh, sign in uh, and the register page as you can see. So I've entered my username password for my customer account and I'll be tapping here on the login button thereafter. So I've been logged into my account as you can see. So now if I go to the shop page and or let me uh, choose the product that's the ship uh, that we had just uh, uh, used in the admin backend panel basically uh, for uh, adding the uh, uh, serial key for this particular product. So I'll just search that up within the store first So here I've uh, searched for the product. That's the ship your idea product and I'm on the product page right now as you can see And due to some lag in my internet connectivity right now the images of this particular product are not being uh, displayed and uh, we uh, and we've uh, So let's continue like that only so uh, I've shown you the uh, uh, the configuration wherein we'll be able to set up the uh, description so that description is here uh, this product has a serial key or this product needs a serial key for uh, using the same so this can be set up from the admin backend panel and uh, now the uh, customer just needs to add this particular product into the cart so i'll just add it to the cart and then we'll make it check out thereafter so i've added to my cart and i'll be tapping here on the view cart uh, link that we have and thereafter we'll be checking out and uh, placing the order for the ship your idea product for which uh, there is a need uh, to have a product serial key so as to make use of the uh, product and uh, the uh, key also uh, is generated and uh, it also expires uh, at uh, at a given interval uh, depending upon the uh, date chosen by the admin from the uh, configuration settings for that particular uh, product so i've added the product into the cart and I'll be tapping here on the proceed to check out button so all my details are already uh, entered here because I've logged into my uh, customer account and now I'll choose my cash and delivery or the payment method that is available within your WooCommerce web store and I'll tap the place order button to place the order uh, for the product which requires a serial key for working so here you can see that we have the order number 103 and we have the order details as well now the customer can navigate to my account section then he can now uh, go to the uh, orders section and here we can see that uh, here's our uh, order that we just placed 103 order number so we'll just tap here on the wave uh, button that we have and uh, that brings up the uh, details of the product itself and 
and there the customer can see the serial key for the uh, order that he, the customer has placed so you can see that the uh, serial key is there along with the expiry of the key as well so th that's how uh, this particular uh, plugin works uh, for the generation of the serial keys for all of the order, all of the product types within your WooCommerce web store and uh, you can set up the uh, serial keys as well as the expiry for each uh, under this uh, product itself and then the customers after placing the order can make use of this uh, particular product by entering the serial key for the time that the admin has uh, set up for the expiry and uh, until then and uh, the uh, customers can also get to know uh, that uh, a particular product is uh, making use of the serial serial key so as to use it within your system or uh, whatever there is the requirement and uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding how the WooCommerce serial and license key manager plugin works from the admin backend and at the web store front end for the customers and if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then uh, I've already added uh, a link to the uh, blog and the demo for this particular plugin and uh, if you uh, if you still want to get uh, more uh, info then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead